This video is sponsored by nobody. So, something interesting happened at the Oscars. Not that. I was referring to another instance that spawned a ton of hate. A moment so heinous that it could tear the fabric of space and time itself. The Oscars has a wide array of awards that get announced. Best Picture, Director, Actor, and even Sound. But the moment I'm referring to is the Best Animated Feature Film Award. The Oscars hasn't quite been seen in the best light by the art community due to the views they have on the animation scene ever since the category was even announced back in 2001. So how awesome of them to continue the trend by twisting the knife and bringing out the Disney princesses of the live action movies to announce this year's winners. Which, by the way, the irony is not lost on me. And this is what they had to say. All these characters hold such a special place in our hearts because animated films make up some of our most formative movie experiences as kids. So many kids watch these movies over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. I see some parents out there know exactly what we're talking about. By the way, just for the record, I have no quarrel or issues with the actors of these films. I'm just saying that I find it ironic that the people who are announcing the featured film winner are actors from films that have been seen as a negative to some of our favorite animated stories growing up. So, as you can see by these calm, relaxed, and reasonably tame responses, the art community didn't really like it. And honestly, I can't really say that I blame them. The Oscars is the big stage where people tune in to watch all of their favorite celebrities for movies come together to potentially be rewarded for having the best film of the year in their respective categories. As for me... Yo dude, Will slap the sh** out of Chris Rock at the Oscars. Wait, the Oscars just happened? I'm literally channeling closing the curtains. Personally, I don't really care about the Oscars. I don't think I ever have, to be quite honest. And I'm not sure if it's strange or not, but I don't really care about the celebrities. Like, to the degree that I know what they had for breakfast this morning. I'm not throwing shade. I hope they are all happy, healthy, and doing well in their careers. Except you, Ashton. Except you. You'd be hard pressed in saying someone famous by name and me knowing immediately who they are. I'd usually just pull out my phone to get a clear picture of them or just ask who they are and just suffer through the weird looks. But my crippling anxiety aside, I think myself to be a connoisseur of animations. An acquired taste. One for the finest arts. When animation is placed in front of me, I'm not watching it. It's watching me. Hoping. Praying that I find it tolerable because if not, it will meet the worst fate possible. I'll write a bad review on Twitter. So what are my actual thoughts on what happened? Personally, I don't care. What? No, seriously, I don't care. Look, I get how this sounds. If I didn't care, why did I make the video? Like I pointed out earlier, if there wasn't any outrage or drama, I wouldn't have even known this happened. And the point of view that I come from is looking at you all instead of looking at the Oscars. Because I think there's more to be said about how much the scene has grown and how much ongoing support there is now compared to back in the day. Maybe it's because I don't know the actual weight of winning an Oscar. To me, the ceremony just doesn't have anything to pique my interest to warrant checking it out year to year. But if the Oscars truly believe that animation is still just for kids, then they're just out of touch. It's as simple as that for like decades now, which is why I have a hard time believing that they don't know this already. Anime alone disproves that statement. See, I was born in the 90s, and it's hard to argue that cartoons weren't amazing back then and in the 2000s. I watched Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes, plenty of Disney movies, and controversy aside, I think it shaped me to be the perfect individual you see before you. I remember growing up and watching all the parody and spoof animations on Newgrounds, even the stick figure fights on stick page. I remember watching the awesome series and then going to school and quoting all the lines and laughing with classmates pretending that we had chainsaw guns from Gears of War 2. So what's the point? The point is, I don't think that we're going to break through to the elite. That animation is cinema. And honestly, I don't think we need to. The animation community here alone has exploded in terms of popularity. 
to the point that we're seeing the lines between what our favorite animation studios can do and what animators working independently or on a small team can do slowly become smaller and smaller. We're even seeing an online series going on that's similar to a cartoon series on TV or streaming services here on YouTube with massive success. And I'm sure I'm missing details on the underlying foundations of how the team itself functions, but the fact that it's here on YouTube makes it feel like we're watching the next step in the animation world happening right in front of us which I certainly hope is good and healthy both for the artists and the community. And then we have you guys continuously supporting the artists here on YouTube and giving these people a platform to showcase the world that lives in their head. Be it through comments, subscribing, sharing your favorite artist content with friends and family, giving donations, or even buying merchandise. This isn't a pandering to tell you to spend money. This is a thank you to people who have, because big and small, you all are the reason this content exists in the first place. Just like a certain scam that's going on in the art world. I don't want people with big wallets to come by and interfere with what I believe to be a positive and growing thing here on YouTube. Sure, there are plenty of issues plenty. But when it comes down to it, I hold the community to a much higher regard over what the Academy thinks when it comes to the hard work, dedication, and love that's poured into the animation community.